Yo, what's up? This is the KO Show. Don't forget to check me out every Monday and Friday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern on mtrradio.com. And then we waited for Miss Mendez to make her arrival, and the scheduled time was supposed to be from 1.30 to 2.30, but that didn't happen. So I want to apologize to you guys for that as well. But without further ado, Miss Mia Mendez is in the building. <laughs> She's in the building, guys. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Howdy do, howdy do. Aww. Howdy do, howdy do. Thank you for having me. Yes, this I is... apologize for my tardiness. It's all right. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it happens. But yeah, yeah, it was out of my control, the but I was getting here. Today, so. It's, it's all right. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm excited to be here. I was uh, flattered that you asked me to come on to the show, so of I appreciate course. it. Thank you. I've been following you for a while, not to sound like a stalker, no, no. I know my boys <laughs> out there are probably going to crack jokes and, and talk a lot of shit, Okay. but I've been following your career for a while, oh. and um, I want all my listeners to just find out everything from the rooter to the tutor, I mean, OMG. From, when, <laughs> from when, like what made you go to broadcasting, to do broadcasting and journalism, I should say, Okay. and That's where to go off from there. Okay, the reason I went into it um, at a young age, and that'll, that'll fast forward to where I am now in life, but at a young age, I was fascinated with uh, TV okay. and actors, really. Just um, movies, different scenes, the emotions that they can get out of you, whether it's laughing, crying, whatever that case may be, right? Right. But I was a shy child. <laughs> and I, shy? I, yeah, I was a shy child, and I was also someone who grew up thinking I should do something stable. Okay. You know, so I felt like acting was fairy tale world and not something you that you could yourself. really go after. You know, okay. so when I went to I went to Temple University, shout out to Temple. Yeah, shout out to Temple. To you. Uh, when I decided to go to college, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, different people told me I should go into broadcasting and specifically TV broadcasting. Okay. Right. Okay. So it, it sparked an interest because it was still the the TV realm, you know, right. I was like, okay, that's in TV, but it's more a practical, more stable, like a legitimate job, you know right. what I mean? Right, right, with TV, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so um, I ended up going to Temple for that, found out my, long story short, found out in an internship my senior year that I didn't like it. Oh, and now what do happened. I do? <laughs> because it just didn't fit my personality. Shout out to all of the, the anchor people around. Um, it just didn't fit me to have to say that every day. Um, right. Sometimes the news can be hard to say. It's yeah. you know, some harsh things. So it didn't fit my personality. So at that point, I said, okay, what am I going to do now? Because I'm about to graduate in this broadcasting degree. Mm -hmm. um, so where am I going to utilize this at? Right. And basically it was someone who came into uh, a, a, a class I had at Temple okay. that spoke that worked for a radio company. Mm -hmm. I kept in touch with that person and branched into radio that way. So it was something that was just like spur of the moment, like it was meant to happen in a way. Um, obviously so. I will say this because even at times that I wasn't necessarily going after it for whatever reason it was put in my path. Right. You know what I mean? So at this point, yes, I feel like I was meant to do this. You know, I definitely do. So, uh, you know, and even I was still shy. Even going to radio, I did. You know how when you're going to, uh, you know, a store like a grand opening and you see the promotions crew at the table, we playing games. And yeah. That's what I did. That's okay. how I started. Uh -huh. I did all of that. Right, because I was still like shy. People would say uh -huh. you should be on the mic, and I'd be like, "No, I'm good. Uh -huh. I'm good." <laughs> <laughs> so um, it took even some time of doing behind the scenes radio before I built up that courage and just to go after it. Right. So yeah. Now here's here's what got me a little baffled. <laughs> You're in a position. Yeah, 107.9 in Philly. Yes. Shout out to 107.9. Yes, 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 yes. You got to tune in on your phones. And yes, hot107.9philly.com. Yes. Yeah. You're at a nice, comfortable spot. You're, you're, you're sitting down with celebs. You're talking to them. You're hanging out with them. You're, you're, you're doing parties, everything. Yes. <laughs> Why the transition? Because because it's what I always wanted to do. It's in my heart. It's my passion. That's it's, right. It's what I always wanted to do from a young age. And I thank God for radio. And like I said, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because radio helped take me out of the shyness. Right. Whereas I'm not as, you know, closed in and like, no, I can't do that. Or no, I don't want to. It, it helped that. So I, without radio, I don't think I would have ever gotten up the courage to pursue the dream and the passion of acting. So I thank God for radio. Videos. Uh, yes. Movies. Mm -hmm. What kind of acting do you want to branch into? Um, at this point, I'll say this because I am very much. I was just asked this question last night as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
Because I am very, at this point, still new to branching, branching into acting. Right. Uh, there are many things I would delve into as long as it's not obscene sexual you know sexual right. type things um right. nothing you're building a brand of course right so i'm building a brand i really wouldn't want to do anything that uh, portrays anything demonic mm -hmm. um but as far as you know i just want to be able to tell a good story right if it's something that grasps my interest uh, you know a script that i read and mm -hmm. this female character is you know fighting some something whether it's getting through whatever obstacle that is in life whether it's right. uh, a bad marriage a bad relationship um something to do with, you know, trials and tribulations of being a parent, right. uh, even a career path, uh, switching career paths. Um, of course, I, you know, I'm a girl, so I love <laughs> those romantic comedies. Uh -huh. I really do. So even if I could do something like that and showcase just that, that fairy tale falling in love, I would love to do that. Um, yeah, so just things like that. Is there anyone in the industry that you look up to that you're like, wow, like, he did it or she did it, and I love the path that they're going. Um, oh, wow, there are so many actresses and actors. Uh, 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 oh, my goodness. Um, Felicia Rashad. Ah, uh, um, uh, uh, there, oh my gosh, why is uh, they're just <laughs> going through my mind right now. Taraji P. Henson, Carrie right. Washington. Mm -hmm. um, I, and I have a, I didn't know this, one time there was a possibility that Jennifer Lopez was going to come to the station. And really? off of the possibility, I've never told anybody this. Uh, <laughs> off the, first of the, off of the <laughs> possibility of her walking in the building, I started to cry. And really? I have never been like that over any celebrity, anybody that ever walked through the door. And it was just the possibility of her, and I think it has to do with... Um, Everything that she represents, I mean, of course, I am Puerto Rican, so yes. I, there's that that I think we, and I've never met her, right? but there's that, and just to see where she has gone from then, you know, as as a performer, as an actress, and I love her movies. One of the fly girls. Yes, yeah, so, you know, um, her personality, when I see her in, in different interviews and things like that, um, yeah, I, I, I adore her, so shout out to J-Lo, I adore her. Yeah, she opened up a lot of doors and broke down a lot of barriers yes. for the Latino community. Yes. Um, and I appreciate that. Celia Cruz also did it. She yeah. wasn't so much on the acting scene, but right. she opened up a lot of yeah, doors as well. Absolutely. So that, mm -hmm. that, that's definitely a good uh, person okay. to Oh, show. That's <laughs> <laughs> he embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> that was Zen featuring Sharon Bryant. Yes, I yes, love yes, you. If yes, you guys yes. want to check out the video and see Ms. Mendez. That was your first video, right? Yes, that's my first and only <laughs> music video I ever was a part of. <laughs> Um, not that I wouldn't do it again, but um, yeah, uh, Zen, a very good friend of mine. We met when I was doing radio in Connecticut uh -huh. uh, at a party. He was actually the DJ. I was the host. Okay. So yeah, that's how we met. And he said, Mia, uh, I got this song. We're going to shoot. The video was actually shot in Chicago. Shout to Chat Town. Uh -huh. And I would love for you to be, you know, that leading lady in it that he's singing to or he's rapping to. That's what's <laughs> up. That is what's up. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a good time. I had... I had something pulled to the side with your acting reel. Oh, okay. But because these guys that were here before me took their sweet time to leave up out of here, I was not able to pull it up. Oh. So, yes. please let us know what movies have you done so far? Oh, well, okay. The, well, the acting reel is something separate, but uh, I did film an independent film called Must Be the Music that is starring and directed by Charles Dutton. Okay. The oh, Rock. Yeah. I've never seen the uh, promotions for that on yes, Instagram. Yes, so I'm not sure when that will be released or what the actual distribution and stuff that's going on with it, but okay. I got to play the role of a teacher, Mr. Rosa. Uh -huh. <laughs> and my role is actually Charles Dutton when he's a child. It's like the beginning of the movie. They building the backstory on him. Mm -hmm. So he's like in school, so I'm his teacher at that point, and then it fast forwards to present day, Charles Dutton playing Big Mike. How was it working and, with Mr. Uh, Dutton? Oh, he's awesome. He's awesome. You a lot of experience with you? Yeah, like even on this set, um, I was very comfortable, mm -hmm. uh, very professionally done, I must say, but I was very comfortable. He gave me what's called, what we call an adjustment. Sometimes okay. you, you say a line a certain way, or you, you know, you're acting it out however you're acting it, and then he gives you, the director may give you another idea. Right. Like, you know, Mia, try it this way. Think of this. Right. And so he gave me a great adjustment, and okay. I hope uh, at this point, I believe he was happy with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. I'm pretty sure he was. Good experience, though. That was part of GD, GDG Films. So right. shout out to GDG Films out of Philly. 
And who else have you worked with? In and um, 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 at this point, then what have I done? After that, I did Split Second, okay. which is also an independent film out of Philadelphia okay. through Timothy Fontaine, Todd Anthony, who is an awesome upcoming actor. Mm -hmm. um, he's in a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. He's on, uh, I think it's the Carfax commercial. People are most familiar with that. Uh -huh. But um, in that in that film, I played Detective Sanchez. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I got to uh, basically I was that first detective that was on the scene uh, when a murder had taken place. Right. So then my boss comes in and I'm that detective that has to fill him in on everything that occurred when I walked in. When I seen that reel, that that particular reel for that one, I said, you know what, she'd be actually good if they were to do a New York Undercover remake. <laughs> Yo, I love perfect. that show. Perfect. I love that perfect. show. Perfect. That's the first thing I thought about when I seen that reel, and I said, you know what, this is this is great. This is really, awesome. really great. Thank you. And I was able to actually pull up the reel that I was looking for. Oh, no, what is it? Oh, my. It's involving Manny. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me get to that right now. <laughs> together N nothing that was actually released okay. but there is something on the rise with that so I don't want to ruin it for um, the director Timothy Fontaine he'll okay. be uh, putting a project together that is inspired by this oh, good. But basically when you are someone who's trying to pursue acting on a serious level you want to have an acting reel right so uh, because I haven't been in a lot just yet right uh, I paid a writer a production team okay. to put these short films together for me okay. so that I could make the reel so and that was something that Timothy Fontaine helped me help me with okay. so yeah those are all little snippets and I'm sure you found that lovely thing on my website yes I did, <laughs> yes, I did. And please tell them the website so they can check oh, yes. you out of course uh, the website MiaMendez.com you can contact me for anything whether it's acting voiceovers Hosting, hosting a gig, yes. yeah. The info at miamendez.com is the email, and yeah, please reach out. Now, this is the other question that I have for you, which um, I wanted to take it a little bit to the serious side. Okay. Was it scary for you to want to jump into acting, being that you already solidified yourself as a radio personality? Was it like really, really scary? Was um, at this point, no, I okay. wasn't really, really scared um, because of the transitions that I've had. Just, just life just right. life it was i was ready right um in the beginning of my radio career yeah i would have been terrified like, wow. <laughs> like i can't do this yeah. um so you know it, it isn't scary for me now i just feel like this is my passion this is what i want to do right. and i'm not one at this point in my life that dwells in fear mm -hmm. uh, i just don't even like to claim it any of that because yeah I, yeah it. because i feel like you know fear is not god given so that's right um I don't. I don't dwell in it. <laughs> That's right. So at this point, no. There's yeah. There's some things that might make me nervous. It might be a new role. Obviously, mm -hmm. something I've never done before. So it's like, oh, it's more of a an anxiousness and and just wanting to do it well. What about improving? 
them. Oh, we've done, I've done, well, shout out to also MTB Studios, Mary Boyer uh, in New York. I've studied yes. there. Been on New York. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I did study acting in New York. I've uh, been studying for over a year now, almost two years. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we do improv in class there as well. So that's always fun because it takes you out of your comfort zone. Right. When you have a script and, and you study this character, you kind of know what you're about to do. But when somebody's just throwing something at you, that may, you know, keeps, yeah, keeps you on keeps your toes. toes. It's like right. live radio. It keeps you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> do, you get, do you get, like, some of your friends and family that's like, well, you sit down with all these celebrities, they can't hook you up with something? You know what? People do talk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, people that don't understand the business. I'm sure you understand. You get that as well. Yes. That don't understand the business yes. aspect to it. Yeah, they think all it is time. just that simple. Like, <laughs> but what's good about also today's show, why I wanted to have you along, is because taking my little part-time money, I actually was able to get some equipment, so actually we're filming right now after yes. interviewing you, and it'll be up on the KO Show's YouTube page shortly, so oh, happy awesome. about that. I'm You're glad I put, first. I'm glad I put some uh, gloss on and stuff. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. And if you guys want to holler at Ms. Mendez, please <laughs> call me up, 609-910-0687, or do what you guys normally do. Text me on my personal number. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 917 <laughs> Now tell everybody this has not ever been done on radio before. Uh -oh. I always put my personal number out there because when the show is on, people usually text me anyway. They yeah. never call me on the show yeah. number. So again, text me at 917-204-9696 if you'd love to speak to Ms. Mendez again. Yay. You're tuned into the KO show. Ms. Mendez is a special guest with us today. And we're going to get to a native of Philly, Meek Mill. Nice. On the KO show. Husband. Kids. Kim, um, I have no kids. I am not married. I Heard am, that, fellas? <laughs> I am currently single. I am currently single um, for different reasons. Yes. But um, as far as family, I mean, I'm very family oriented. Right. Um, a small, immediate family, but large family all around. I just right. have one older brother. I am the baby. Oh, okay. Uh, that so that might have to do with why I'm single because I'm a bit spoiled. Is he overprotective of you and the guys you date? Um, he is, but in a in a good in a good way. It's not uh -huh. overbearing. You okay. know, me and my brother have always been very close. Okay. I'm not sure. You know, you know how when you're younger, you'll most brothers and sisters have that thing where they fight. They don't like each other and whatever, whatever. We never had that for some reason. We've always been really close. <laughs> Corners too goddamn fast. You need to slow this motherfucker down. Understand? I almost spilled my yak on this $200 suit.